Review the patient's medical and dental history, including any previous complications or changes since their last visit. Have the dentist review the dental chart and confirm the number and type of radiographs to be exposed. At the beginning of each day, prior to starting the procedure, and after the completion of the procedure, wash your hands. Explain the procedure, including risks and benefits of dental radiographs. Obtain informed consent. Instruct the patient to remove any metal objects from the neck up that will interfere with the radiography procedure. Drape the patient with a lead apron securing the thyroid collar around the neck. Instruct the patient to place their arms and hands underneath the apron. Bite wing radiographs are taken as a single procedure or as part of a full mouth series of radiographs. These images are taken on the posterior teeth and are used to identify dental caries, defective restorations, and to determine bone loss. Bite wing radiographs usually contain four images, two for each side, to capture the premolars and molars. Procedural steps for receptor placement and exposure of the molar area on the right side of the mouth include Place the receptor with the bite tab in the patient's mouth on the right side, between the tongue and the teeth in the molar area. Instruct the patient to bite down on the bite tab. Position the tube head at a plus 10 angulation and perpendicular to the teeth and expose the receptor. After exposure, remove the film from the patient's mouth. If using a digital sensor, check the computer screen for radiograph quality and that the software is ready for the next exposure. Thank you.